Chris Sale, very good. Rest of Red Sox rotation, not as good. And they were all clicking on all cylinders, but they've really struggled, the Red Sox rotation of late, you know, last two and a half, three weeks. Except for Sale, he's the he's the one guy that's been constant and great. And Frank, I, I guess just thinking, you know, going into the season, the way they were playing early, didn't think so. Do they need another starter? Red Sox are right where they are in the starting rotation? You know, I would say yes, just because the Yankees' offense is so good. Yeah. And we're yet to hit midsummer when the balls are really fine in the ballpark. It's going to be really hard to slow down that Yankees' offense. Yes, I would, I would prefer them to go out and get a number two or number three with Sale because I'm telling you right now, with David Price and, and Sell, they can hold on because this team is full of line drive hitters that can flat out play, but they definitely need to secure another starter if they're going to beat the, if they're going to beat the Yankees head, head, head to head down the stretch. Mm. I think they can hold off. And why I say that, the irregular season, you'd like to get through this, this whole version. Rick Porcello has been a little bit better this year. Good start, 5-1. and one. But also that he would like to see the 2016 version where he won 22 games. That's sure. going to be pretty important mm -hmm. for them to get. And that can happen. That being said... I, th I think they need David Price to be David Price. And you're wondering that. It's just, it's, it's mix and match. You don't know if he's going to be that guy. And there's injury concerns that, that, that are in the, ba in the background of David Price. So do they need somebody right now? Probably not. And David Price doesn't have that history. If they do get in the playoffs, he has over a five ERA and nine starts. So I think so long term, but I don't think short term they do. I, I, I think they have enough to go through regular season and see where that market goes and see if you can get a guy. Because mm -hmm. if they do acquire a starter, it has to be a bona fide number two guy to go along with Chris Sale. It just bothers me when I start hearing words like Carpetano and stuff like that early in, in, in May. Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to, 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 to beat a team like the Yankees, that's the only reason I would say locate the guy and, and get it done. And trust me, Dave Dombrowski is going to do something. they got to be able to He's not going to sit back and wait too late to try to beat the Yankees. Well, you're right about Dombrowski, but they got to count on Price. One positive, mm -hmm. though, if you spin to their offense, think about it. How, remember Ortiz left, and like they can't hit home runs. They yeah. were awful last year. Mm -hmm. Second in the major leagues in home runs this year, and yes. they're winning games when they hit home runs, 14-4 and four, when they hit multiple long balls. The largest ERA difference between relief staff and the starters, this is since 1913. Look at this stat. Wow. The 2018 Indians with a ridiculous difference. Every other team is from the 20s. Yeah. That's how insane it is right now. Especially this day and age, it's all about the bullpens and how you create those, those strengths. So the bullpen is a mess. You guys uh, talked about that a lot on Whip Round last night. Frank, how about any other concerns other than the bullpen do you see with this team, or are they all right? I think they're lucky because they got five great starters, and, and that's a luxury to have in Major League Baseball, especially in the American League. But losing Brian Shaw is big to that bullpen. He was a rubber arm guy that, that Tito could use almost every day. He took a lot of pressure off the other, other pitchers if they were ailing. So when you lose a, a, a piece like that out of your bullpen, it's going to take a while to replace it. But losing also Carlos Santana. I think Carlos Santana in the middle of that lineup, he is definitely missed. Because this team, no way there are 500 team with the five starters they have and the offense they have. So. Um, there's plenty of time to get it together. They, they come out of the gate a little slow. Last year we saw them come out of the gate a little slow, too. They won 20. Was it 21 in a row or something like yes. that? So this team is capable of on, on going on a hot streak. And right now, Andrew Miller's hurt. I mean, that's a big concern also. But this team is capable of streaking, and that's what they're going to have to do to get back on top. Well, he's back, but you think he's still hurt. So. Andrew Miller, I think he's, he, he needs some extended time, time off of that knee. Really? Okay. Yes. I, I, love the, I love the point of Brian Shaw because you think about it. It's not only his ability and what he has, uh, the upper 90s fastball, the cutter that he has. Mm -hmm. It's the chemistry that you have in a bullpen that you develop. I think Andrew Miller relies on that. You, you understand that that is something that is taken away. So they have to redefine their, their mantra out in the bullpen. It's not very easy. You look at it, though, they're 9-5 and five versus the Central, 13-9 and nine at home. So they have the ability to go on that hot stretch that mm -hmm. Frank talked about. I'm not worried about these guys. No. Terry Francona is going to get them right. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win necessarily great 22 Great pitching, great row. manager, and like, great hitters. Yeah, I don't think they're going to win 22 in no. a row, though, like no, the last no, no. year. But, I, you know, the division is not... It, you know, it's not the it's not the AL East or it's not the AL West. They're in a good spot to be off to a Very slow true. start. Mm -hmm.